because of the way I garden and the way that we live our life where I'm homeschooling and then I am gardening and then I'm doing other farm chores. I feel like the videos that we do are a little bit kind of here and there and all over the place and I am sorry about that but that's just kind of how it goes. Um, hopefully I can make some of it make sense. Um, but again today we are out here in the garden. I'm coming out after dinner after it's cooled down a little bit to do a row of green beans. So I've done everything in stages. Yesterday I came and tilled on the far end and tomorrow the plan is to get corn down in down there. But tonight I'm just trying to get these green beans in because I've had them soaking. Um, so each night I've done a little bit more instead of just doing it all at once. So I feel like sometimes I'm just a little all over the place, but my brain's kind of like that way anyway. Um, so we are going to be putting in green beans tonight. And I'm gonna call the kids over because they love putting them in. Here, I'll let you see them. All right, kiddos, you ready to help green beans? Sure. Sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, all right. The kids are pushing in the last few bean seeds. We have a half a row over here and a full row back behind me where Kylie is of green beans. Um, it's one of our favorite crops because I can can it really well and it's an easy side dish that when it's canned you just pull it out and it's readily quick and easy. Um, so I grow a lot of those. Um, that's all we got for you tonight. See ya. So we are out here today going to plant the corn. We finished schoolwork. I actually had to go to town today to do some shopping, but I'm back. So now we're going to put in the corn. I saved this corn last year. It is a sweet variety. It is called Bantam sweet corn. We liked it pretty well last year. It grew really tall and did pretty well. We saved quite a fit, bit of it for feed last year and we ate some ourselves. Um, so last year was our first year of corn. So hopefully this year will be better. We learned some things along the way. So really hoping to do better this year. But Nolan's out here. He's going to help me. Hey, Nolan. Hey. Hey. <laughs> He's going to help me plant out the corn. We're going to just do three rows of corn this year. And I don't know how long. Do you know, do you remember how long this section is? On that spot? I have no idea. Uh, like 30. I think it was around 30. So we're going to have three rows of 30 foot. Wait. Three? 30 foot rows yeah. of corn. Two in each row. So. That'll be six, six rows of corn. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what it turns out to be. You guys will see it. <laughs> and we are probably gonna have to watch the chickens because I don't want them to come and grab my kernels before I get them in the ground. Oh, They're yeah. nearby. That would be funny. That would be funny if they came and ran, which they did get. <laughs> did we get it on video? I don't, I don't think we did. Uh, yesterday, two days ago? When I was tilling this section here, I threw fertilizer down and then I went to till and then the tiller ran out of gas. So I ran to the store to get gas, came back and the chickens were in here eating the fertilizer. I freaked out. Jesse said he saw it. He doesn't know how long they had been in here and he chased them off while I was at the store. But so I don't know how much fertilizer they ate um, before it got tilled in. It was organic fertilizer. I don't know if that helps, but yeah, they seem to be all right. I've been watching them to see if any of them turn out sick, but they seem to be fine so far. It's been, it's been about two days, so I think they're all right. 
but all right we'll get to it Hold it under. Under. Yeah, that just on the corners, yeah. Yep, that way. Like this? Mm-hmm. It just gives it a little bit of extra strength. Push it all the way down. Oh, that's an ant pile, so be careful. Ah. Do you have any on you? No. Okay. Keep going down the right. I'm out. All right, we'll get you some more, please.
In the midst of doing all our farm work, we got a surprise phone call from someone who wanted to drop off mulch. We've been waiting for this for over a year. I've been on chip drop, I've messaged arborist in the area, and I've never gotten a response. But after these storms in the area, someone reached out and said, hey, I've got a dump load, would you like it? And we said yes. Within 30 minutes or so, he was here and we are so excited. And I cannot tell you what a blessing this is for a homesteader or a gardener. This is a game changer for us and we are so excited. Thanks for watching and joining us on our journey for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Although I have gardened for over 16 years, I have not homesteaded for that long. And for me, I'm learning along the way. Not only am I learning the homestead, but I'm also learning how to YouTube. So thank you for your patience as I'm learning to edit and still maintain the farm at the same time. It's actually a bigger task than you might think. On another note, we were completely awestruck by this rainbow that happened after a storm. Each time I see a rainbow, I know it is a sign from God, reminding me of how good he is to us. On the next episode, we will be putting all this mulch to good use, so stick around to see what we end up using the mulch for. Again, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys around.